Welcome to episode 5 of TapSwipeClick.com. In this episode, I want to talk about something that I encountered in work recently. I feel a lot of designers can relate to because it's something that we start out with that's very simple but becomes increasingly more complex. This week, I want to talk about tags. So today I want to talk to you about something that we see a lot in UI, but we tend to not really look uh, more deeply into what this really is. And so a simple thing I think uh, designers tend to go for is are making tags. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because at work, uh, we've had a lot of back and forth on what should we really design for when we make tags. And so uh, real briefly, just an introduction, if you're looking at this, this is a UI kit I downloaded um, from Bootstrap. And they had some tag elements in there. And if you look at it on face value, <laughs> you see that someone can create a tag um, and they can add it to something. And if you've used tag these tags before, which I think we all have, you can, you can group things with two, that are similar. So for example, in this case, you something that is light blue, anything that's the color blue, just, um, just sort of making that up. Um, and here's an example I found off of a sketch app sources where at the top they group all of their resources and then they put tags at the top right here what might be for iOS or what is for wireframes and then here if someone were to click on UI kits you can see all of the UI kit resources here they have 226 and then you can further uh, narrow that down to something more specific and so the thing that came up in a lot of our conversations is you are overthinking it, and that's a lot of designers like to use that as their, their back pocket weapon thing. Um, but when we dug into a little bit more, the initial interactions are pretty simple. If you're going to make a tag or user generated tags, you can, in this UI, you can click on the add button right here and you can name your tag and then you can custom make your tags. That's great. Um, so I do that. I do that a lot in Evernote. I'm a big Evernote uh, user and fan, if you will. And so here you can see I just took a screenshot of all the tags in my Evernote. And then I started looking a little deeper into the tags that I have. Um, for example, um, for my writing, I do post and post ideas. This is an older screenshot. But I have a, a few similar tags right here related to posts. And I have a lot of similar uh, tags related to ideas. And then if you look even closer, there are some tags that have either one or no, um, nothing associated with it. So what does that mean? Um, I'm one person who is able, who is able to have access to creating tags for my Evernote. And if you have more than one person on the same system with the same ability, this sort of problem can multiply. And what we had to do then, and this isn't the, related to the project that we had about tags, and I got this off of Carnegie Mellon's site, and I'll put the link into the show notes, um, map out the complexities. What can happen if you have multiple people, for example, creating the same thing? And what does it look like if they have duplicates? Uh, what do you do in the case of duplicates? What happens if someone wants to search for tags and there, of course, are a bunch of duplicates? And then how do you fix that problem? What is then the system for fixing that problem? So I can go into a lot more. We've definitely gotten into a lot more work around this. But just to give you a quick understanding of some of the deeper complexity around something simple as tags. Thank you very much.